morning, I'm Alaka Cleopatra and earlier on today, uh, Fredo tried to slate me on his IGTV and apparently now it's in the blogs. So this is going to be my reply. I'm going to say it one time. I'm going to get it out of the way because I don't do the social media BS back and forth and then I'm going to be done with it. So prior to this event, I've worked in this industry for about five years. So five years working in the video, video modeling industry earned a reputation for myself and for my agency and you know I've never had any incidences from the ages of 18 to 23 I've never had any incidences in working in this industry before and I believe that everyone that I've worked for in the past can vouch for me and what kind of person I am um, this is what happened so we had just got done shooting a money scene and I believe Fredo and Central C asked all of the models to start stacking up money off the floor because we were going to be shooting another money scene. So I've started stacking up money, I've stacked up money on my in my hands and left it on the side, I've also stacked up money and put it in my waistband. My intentions behind stacking the money in my waistband is when we're throwing the money in the next scene, we can, when I run out of money in my hands, instead of having to pick it up off the floor or on the sides, I can go into my waistband band and carry on um, because I know that can look suspicious to some but those were my intentions so um, I needed to go to the toilet take in mind that we were drinking um, we were all tipsy we were about five four five hours over time or behind time and you know the shoot was a bit of a shambles like they only fed us a sandwich all day like it was a mess so I've gone now and walked up the stairs to go to the toilet um, a man, as I'm going to the toilet, comes up to me, taps me on the back and says, you're stealing. And me being really offended by that, you know, I get upset and I start laughing at him and I take the money out of my waistband and I throw it in the air and I start laughing at him and then I go to the toilet. Um, after I come back, I, if my memory is not jogging me, I remember it being Central C coming up towards the stairs as I'm coming down and saying, you bitch, you're stealing. <sighs> they told my manager that I stole three grand initially and that I had a bulge in my trousers. I wouldn't walk from the back of the bus past 15, 20 people with a bulge in my trousers past everybody. Like, I, I'm just not that stupid. I wouldn't do that. Um, Fredo is now saying that it's four grand that I stole. I don't know where that's coming from. I also don't understand how you can count three or now four grands in the space of a couple of minutes of that ev event transpiring and call my agent and tell her exactly how much I stole. I mean, to me, it feels like a setup, but what do I know? Um, I ended up getting into it with I think there was about four or five guys onto one me and they're calling me out of my name, totally intimidating me, like telling me to get off the bus. Me, I'm livid, I'm not backing down and so I'm giving it right back to them. I end up getting off the bus, there was a video taken of my body, of my bags to show that, you know, and it showed that I didn't have any money on me and then I was sent in a cab home. To be honest with you they know that there should never be that amount of money at a shoot or even real money because it puts everyone's life in danger if models are not trusted with money then you know anyone could make a call to come run up or god knows what could happen um furthermore like if you were that upset then why didn't you do anything at the time and furthermore if i am actually a thief then why did you pay me like it's like it's all promo they basically refused my agency any further action moving forward from this situation and didn't want to deal with it now all of a sudden weeks later freddo's brought this back up out of the blue and you know is trying to bully me basically on his instagram like people will literally do anything for some streams these days and it makes me sick as a father who has a daughter, I expect better. You know that people take their lives over stuff like this. And I have seen firsthand how situations such as these have affected the people that I've worked with. In fact, I'm glad it was me rather than someone else not as strong. In my mind, I've written this down. In my mind, 
I'm thinking to myself, is this what we've really come to? Where we have to bully, put people's mental, emotional, and possibly even physical health in danger for some streams. Your streams over my safety and peace of mind is a trade I am not willing to make. Even now though, I wish you no ill, because I could only imagine what you must be going through mentally and emotionally to resort to something like this. And so I pray for you. Moving forward, we can deal with the situation properly, like adults, and how it should have been dealt with from the beginning. Um, we can start a police investigation as to what transpired that day and um, yeah, further it through that course of action.